observe that when the distance between hand lengths and the letters are increased gradually the letters will appear more and more larger but at a particular limit the letters will be seen with the maximum size when the distance is increased further the letters will become unclear so that's that means it there have to be have, they have to have a a, mac, a particular limit for that and you have to uh, get in that limit because not lower than it or not higher than it so therefore you will realize that there should be a constant constant distance kept between the object and the lens when an object is observed by a hand lens so today lesson is over and next time we are going to do the 10.2 and be ready for it and see you hello welcome back again we are with another lesson the correct use of microscope let's see today i going to do um 10.1 topic and the introduction so many measures have been taken from ancient times to observe small things by magnifying them different equipment have been produced and used for this purpose do activity 10.1 by using instrument or materials that can be supplied from your home environment easily so in here um they are saying um they um in the in the past um, the one who live in past they have used many measures um, to observe small things by magnifying them and then different equipment have been produced for this so um we are in this lesson we are going to understand what is that one most comfortable one so then we do activity 10.1 activity 10.1 You will need a closed glass bottle filled with water, a glass pier, a glass light with a drop of water, a sealed transparent polythene bag filled with water, a water-filled flamant bulb sealed with wax. So then the method is observe small letters by using each of the above instruments or subjects so there is a picture of a one letters uh, when, when letters magnified when uh, when seen through a glass pier yes can you see so th- that is a thing that means that is a measurement used for magnifying so um, you can observe that small letters are magnified in size one common feature of above mentioned instruments is the presence of water that means um, a a common feature of above mentioned instruments is the present of what i think you can you have seen that that means we if you do the activity or do anything in you will need there's the water part everywhere so did you fi- find out another feature common to all the instruments you must uh, that means have you observed any other specific thing in there yes what is that you must have observed 
that the other common feature of the above in instruments was the curved surface or the port protrude surface you might now understand that these curved surfaces can be used to magnify small items so what do we have here a curved surface that's why the can you see the in the picture that's why um the letters are curved so convex lens is an instrument with these features which is found in a school laboratory so in this lesson another new it is not i think new but remember that i will do the light lesson also but please hear that um convex mirrors not me convex mirrors and convex lens mean both okay convex mirrors means the me the it is a mirror and convex lens mean it is not a mirror we can look through it so then which is found in school robot so that's the thing you have to learn so 10.1 is the simple microscope let's see a hand lens simple microscope can be produced by fixing a handle with a frame to a convex lens a hand lens can be produced by fixing a frame to convex lens so it have to be it have to have a candle may handle too so then you have a figure figure 10.2 convex lens remember that uh, then hand lens by using many convex lens so in my house i have the first one also so then observe the letters that you used in the above activity using a hand lens make sure i adjust only the object and do not change the distance between the lens and the eye that means they say observe the letters that you used in the above activity in 